Tinkercad tip. This one came from a post on Reddit and the reader asked if there was a way to increase the outer diameter of objects like this without increasing the inner diameter. And this was the suggestion that was made. So we'll start by selecting this one here. We'll make a duplicate of it. Holding the shift key, I'm going to click down here and change this measurement to 64. All right, and then I'm going to cursor over two millimeters back two millimeters so that we're aligned. And I'm going to change the height of this to also be the original 106 in this case. And you can see where that has increased the outer diameter without changing the inner. So let's expand upon that a little bit more. I'm going to hit Control D a couple of times. And you can see it's growing larger and larger. But one thing to note is that as you do this, the holes in it also expand. You can see here looking in this hexagonal hole where it's stepping out. We can do the same thing with this. We'll select it, hit duplicate, come down here. We'll change this to again 64. We'll cursor over two millimeters back two millimeters so that we're centered. We'll change the height to 106 to match. We'll hit Control D a few times and the same thing happens. It is increasing that outer diameter, but at the same time, these holes are also expanding. So that's just something to note if you use a technique like this. Now, if anybody has a solution to this, another solution, I'd be happy to hear it. Just drop a comment.